Okay, this is pretty much done, so I'm going to give you guys the run through. I just got a little bit of painting to do on the interior. Here's the vent. Vent's running up into the cavity in the ceiling. This is the underside of my uh, dorade. It was a vent. I actually took this cover off, put a piece of uh, formica over it, and caulked it in so it's plugged. We'll get some exfiltration out of that. It all went just fine. Oh, and this cabinet goes down and then into which blind PVC was painted, but okay, in this cabinet here, I created a trap door. All this is gonna get painted here. This trap door comes up with these, of course. And there is the let's see if I got the shadows here for you. There's the actuator right there to run this puppy. And this is the unit. This is a standard toilet seat here. Lift this puppy up. One of the nice things about this seat is it's got the hydraulic dampening, kind of high end. It's also very low profile, so when it sits down, it's actually very, very little air gap. No need for that uh, capping device that they have on the sea head, I don't believe. As long as I've got the negative pressure on this, the air should flow around the gaps without a problem. Also, what's nice about this seat is you just flip this, flip this, and this comes right up and out for, clean, for cleaning very nicely. Just one hand in here. Okay, so here's the, the works. Just finished this. Here's our funnel. Easily removed for uh, cleaning purposes. And I can reach right down here and take the bottle, cap it, put it to the side. There's room for storage for additional. Well, let's turn this puppy on so we can see. Oh. Here's the panel. It's a little noisy. I'm assuming it's going to quiet down when I have the, the fan on. I mean, uh, the cover on, the media in. But there's enough room in here for three bottles of storage. And to, to change the bottle, take the bottle right out and change it. And use your back illumination, night illumination for levels. And at night time, we'll let you. Uh, here's my switch over here. My old man installed it 30 years ago, this switch. Never used it for anything. So, uh, as you can see, there's an operation. I got a uh, hose clamp on the trigger of that variable speed drill so I can adjust it, the load, once I get the media, media in. And, uh, come on, Eric, what are we doing here? That goes down, snap, snap, in place. These alignment pins here, these four pins here, keep it where it belongs. Can you pee standing up in that? Maybe. If not, what that is is a little trash can for $3 at Lowe's. I actually bought two more spares in case I should ever have to replace it. I could actually create a funnel out of one. Say we had guys over, with the only guys, and drinking a lot and whatnot. Uh, you could actually add, put a funnel on this and raise it up a good 8, 10 inches. No problem peeing standing up. So, uh, I'll close this and make sure how she opens up. This little one knob over here on the side. We can do this. I'm going to paint these screws, these screws too, so that they're, uh, they look nice. That, and then we just pull it a little bit. Come on. Come on. Oh, of course, I can't do this with one hand. Hello. But it's, oh, figures. One time I'm showing you guys, it's stuck. Stuck on me. Oh, I know what the problem is. Ha, ah, silly me. I got for the first time, of course, I just did the funnel thing. I got to remove the funnel. Hello. <laughs> Before I can remove the, the unit. Ha, ah, this is again, this is the first time I've done this. So, so anyways, take the screw out. And now it actually should come out easy. The funnel is holding it in place. This is removable. Like this. Put this to the side. 
and this is the meat the recessed area down there I'm gonna have a watertight so there's containment in case of spillage and I'm gonna line it with uh, one of those bilge liners the little thin pads that you can buy in case there's any little bit of spillage I've got a couple of bungee cords here there's my vent which I haven't tested yet to see if I actually have natural flow, but I got two fans, two small computer fans coming that are going to work together to do that. That is suggested by the C head. There's my light. There we go. A 90 degree, uh, a 90 degree drill extension. Get it to uh, Harbor Freight for, I got it for 16 bucks. An aluminum paddle, aluminum shaft. Uh, got a little insert here, brass insert for the for the holding it together, and uh, this is the wire to the wire for the fan, ready to go. Fans are 0 0.08 amps each, two of them together, all of 1.6 amps, 0.16 amps, which is next to nothing.